Bishop's Mill's artist naturalist team, Dr. Fred Schuler and Talita Karstad, have devoted their lives to doing what they call landscape art and science. Their work has inspired the creation of the not-for-profit organization, Fragile Inheritance. This is what Fragile Inheritance is all about. It's uh, going to be a coffee table book. I'd like you to see it as, as sumptuous, as uh, full of watercolors and uh, intimate close-ups of things. And, and text, the, there will be text and there will be boxes and captions. So there's many ways you can read through this book. The Fragile Inheritance book is about the influence of people on glaciated North America. It goes from uh, prehistory uh, through to uh, our current civilization, but relating to each habitat and the, the plants and animals living in the habitats. So that involved going a couple of times across Canada, and uh, this is our basically our life's work, and it continues. And uh, it hasn't been published yet, but we've, uh, it's going to be our next big, big project. It follows the uh, Alita Karstad's Canadian Nature Notebook, which uh, was published in 1979 and became a bestseller in Canada, and, uh, and also followed through habitats. As an artist, Alita is renowned for capturing the spirit of a place and for her loving detail of her paintings. In Robert Bateman's words, Alita's exquisite paintings are gems of art and observation. As Alita paints, Fred explores. He informs my paintings and I illustrate his work. And uh, this, is, uh, this is our local, local landscape uh, with a series of essays uh, illustrated uh, by my sketches. And uh, we worked together with uh, some partners and I did all the slug paintings from live specimens. So I started as a biological illustrator and, and I was working on uh, with Nate, uh, I did a nature journal all along everywhere we went and uh, these are just the, everything that I draw and paint gets put into our publications basically. Art will notice things that the scientific data might miss because the scientific data is measuring certain things and art can catch by gestalt uh, the, the, the feelings but also some details that, that were not intended to be looked at initially. So it gives more of a holistic view. It illustrates the science but it also uh, will make the scientist and the general public and the interested naturalist notice. I uh, illustrated a, a series of, of uh, fruit fly mutations for the Canadian Museum of Nature and uh, the geneticist who was providing me with these flies told me what each each mutation was. So one of them had brown eyes, one of them had, had small eyes and and there were a couple of other features associated with these mutations and uh, I was noticing uh, more. My work comes with the information that, that, that we learn while we're out there. Um, everything is being researched. Everything goes into the database, including uh, accounts of when and where I did my illustrations. And so, so they, together they, they go into books, they go into talks, they, go in, they will be going into podcasts. They, um, so when people buy a painting of mine, on the back of it is, is a, a little printout of, of the account of, of what was happening there and then. It's, it's a time and a place. And, and it also changes and it's vulnerable. And, and I go back to places that I've painted and they're not there anymore. In my paintings, everything is identified. Everything has a name and that name is used to communicate with people about life and individuality and the meaning of things and how they fit into living communities.